Okay, yes. So, uh, thank you for those who are here. Thank you so much for being here for this uh, What's New, What's Next uh, 2023. And, um, well, I hope uh, we'll have uh, more attendance. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm so happy that uh, we have uh, here wonderful participants. We have uh, Blanche Garcia, Lucia Settembrini, Monica Foglia, and they will introduce themselves after. And uh, uh, for those uh, who do not know me, I'm Fabienne Kozulic, co-owner of Kozulic Interiors and Antiques since uh, 1982. And uh, we specialize uh, mainly in Italian design. But uh, for uh, those who follow us, uh, we have always been a company uh, trying to evolve with uh, actual times, always uh, trying to be relevant. Uh, and uh, we like to listen to what's happening around us in order to uh, serve our customers better but also in order to um, be uh, able to uh, be a little bit ahead of the time and uh, uh, offer something different to our audience. This is why we, are, uh, we have chosen the topic this evening about uh, a collection of uh, art that is uh, flexible, that adapts to the choice of everybody, so that uh, through the uh, personal request, uh, the, our uh, audience can create their own narrative in their environment. And not only create their own narrative, but feel, to feel connected, and that's why we call design connections, to feel connected with their own emotions, with their own environment, so that it becomes a, um, a little bit a part of uh, uh, us and where we can feel also more grounded through the choices that we make in our, in our own environment. So I uh, um, would like to uh, also let you know that at the end you can ask questions if uh, you feel like it. Uh, everybody is here to carry on with the subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, to um, listen uh, to what you would like to know. But um, so I would like uh, uh, first uh, Monica to introduce herself and uh, yeah. with pleasure, Monica. So you are a big uh, artist here, so let us know. Okay, thank you. I am Monica Foglia. I am Italian and uh, I am an artist and I'm living in uh, Monaco. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be here for me this night and uh, I would like to introduce a little bit my background uh, as uh, and my life that was uh, surrounded uh, by art because my family uh, owned the most ancient uh, gallery, art gallery, modern and contemporary in Europe, founded uh, in Genoa in 1918. Uh, and from this point uh, and this uh, my background, uh, I decided uh, 20 years ago to found uh, my company at the Art, based in Genoa, where I'm uh, focusing on uh, art on demand uh, for a big project, uh, uh, naval, for naval and um, hospitality industry. From this point, uh, I create uh, my own uh, sculpture that is the Sumo Fighter. The one that one is the next to you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that represents my soul. 
the differences of my soul, strong and uh, light, the body of the fighter, soul, the fighter and the papillon light. I produce this in many colors, materials, dimensions, for any space, internal and external. Thank you, Monica. Okay. And uh, well done. <laughs> it's quite impressive. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, Lucia, tell us uh, what is your goal here? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm Lucia Settemrini. I work with Monica uh, from, uh, the last, uh, for the last 15 years. We are partner now. And uh, as she said, she established the FPR company, who, who, which is based in Genoa and we are specialized in uh, supplying uh, bespoke art. So, uh, we can be considered an art supplier, but also art consultant, because we, how we work is very simple. We start from the initial idea of the clients, uh, starting from the team, a specific team or a designer. We um, start creating various sketches and still arriving feedback by, by feedback to the final decision and we we can face any kind of project I, I can tell you many things but tonight we have some examples of what we do we are very strong in sculptures production but not only I mean about sculptures we can realize table size like the one you see tonight but also monumental one because uh, as I said we are involved in the uh, things and hospitality and so in these last 20 years we faced a lot of projects each of them was a challenge for us and this gave us experience to, to be able now to, to, to produce in different materials and uh, not only sculptures also decorative panels for and then you can find also more information in the bags that you have on the chairs eh? and uh, not only a new uh, sculptural collection that you find also online but uh, also uh, descriptions and details uh, on a lot of other projects so Blanche please uh, tell us a little bit about you and um, also uh, I'm sure that uh, you will uh, certainly name uh, some of the reasons why we chose you as a well. <laughs> So come on. So thank you, Fabian. Um, my name is Blanche Garcia. I'm an interior designer and I am the principal designer at my firm, BRC Designs. We're located in New Jersey, a little right outside here, right next to Montclair. And so we primarily do residential, uh, bespoke residential, uh, hospitality and commercial, like restaurants and, and whatnot. Um, my background is very vast, and I was just telling Fabian, I actually, um, I was probably 18, 19 years old working in this very building, and um, I've been in the industry now for a little over 27 years. Um, my background is very diverse because I started out at a very young age. I knew this is what I wanted to do. Um, probably at embryo status, <laughs> I said this is what I want to do. Um, and I've always gone in that direction. And so for me, design has always been that I am a creative person, not so much a designer. I don't like to be put into a box. So I always have followed my passions. And where my passions started out is, as anybody who starts out, they have a very small vision of what they want to be because they, the extent of what they know is very limited. And the more you know, the more you expand and you realize you want to go deeper and further. So in my creative industry, I have started out not only in the sales of furniture and getting to know the different products, but opening my own design house. But it was very interesting because one of the things that um, Fabian is alluding to, I ended up you know, um, co-hosting and designing on TV shows Hotel Impossible through the Travel Channel, traveled around the world for five seasons designing hotels in 72 hours, literally with like a paint stick and a stick of gum and five dollars, um, and, and just all over the world, including Italy, uh, and also on HGTV's Design Star, like literally OG season six. So we did that, and I did that. <laughs> 
Um, and so we metamorphosed and our business and what I created changed. And where we are now, you know, we've come a really long way because um, what I like to say is, you know, 2020 kind of changed a lot of us. It was the precipice, the tipping point. And so for me, it real, I realized that I wanted my company and my business to be more in alignment with my intuitive life. And so I really feel like the connection with that mind, body, and soul with space is a big connection. So we recently just launched a new service a couple months ago, Conscious Home by BGD. Um, with that, we have kind of six archetypes that I created that connect people through an assessment test that they take. And then through that, we're able to have a diagnostic with the type of space support that we would recommend, as well as things as nutrition and herbs and activation spaces and mindfulness and all of that kind of gets involved in it. And so we are now about to launch a new podcast for that, and we also are launching a new website where we offer e-design. And so there's a lot of things that we are creating now with this new breadth of space. And it was really interesting because as I was, we were going to the different showrooms, listening to the different events. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but there is a new language that is out there now where people are talking even more so now the energy of the space, how it evokes feeling, how um, people are passionate, how it connects. And so it was very poignant um, when you reached out to me because I feel like it's so current, the topic of emotion connecting with space more exactly. so than before. Yes. So thank you. Yo, why is that? No, thank you for being here. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm treating you accepted the invitation because indeed uh, uh, for us, because of HGT and your son antiques, it has been always a journey, not just to be really accurate, and not just to bring beauty to you, but also with uh, a meaning and a function behind it. So in fact, we have always tried to uh, present always art, but through functionality. And uh, for me, each one of these ladies embodies this. And uh, the fact that I found a, a collection of uh, true works of art, but that could be completely done in uh, many different materials, many colors that could adapt to the interior, to the exteriors. I find this extraordinary because uh, art today has become so much important because our home uh, has become more a sanctuary, has become more a place where uh, we have needs that uh, um, fill us. And uh, I think that one of the solutions to fill ourselves uh, is uh, uh, through connections. Through connections, not only of just beautiful items, but items that resonate with yourself. So a question that I wanted to ask uh, to you, the artist, and uh, Lucia, whoever wants to speak. Uh, why did you choose uh, a collection that was adaptable, a collection where you could use uh, several materials, uh, where you could uh, realize the same art in different sizes, the same art for interior and for exterior? Yes. We Thank you. Thanks for asking because uh, today um, the, the sculpture you can see uh, express the different material we can use. And uh, the first reply I can say is because we want to be flexible and we want that our customer um, enjoy our service of uh, customization because this is the main uh, um, service we, we want to be <laughs> remembered for. <laughs> and um, this is the main uh, the main reason. And so, uh, as we, as I said before, as we faced uh, in the past many projects, uh, we have now the capability to to use different materials. Today, you see the two rings in bronze, but in two colors. Really. So the materials, but also the colors, are important to 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 be unique and to personalize uh, art. 
Yes, so we, we have a sculpture in aluminium that you can do in bronze, in marble, in, marble, yes. in resin. Material, of course. Depends. Of course. It depends on the project, it depends on the kind of uh, requirements we see from the client, but we, the, the materials that Fabian mentioned are all, of, all possible. Wood, also, stainless steel, uh, ceramic, in glass, glass, don't forget that we come from Italy. We, we work with uh, beautiful masters from Murano and the, we are close to Tuscany, so we, we are used to marble from uh, the land of uh, the, the region of uh, the masterpieces of Michelangelo. I mean, we are flexible and we can face a new budget also because it's also, also this, uh, is a good point. So this is uh, our service. Mm -hmm. And uh, Blanche, uh, what do you think is the role of art in interior design and also exterior design? And uh, what do you think of uh, art that uh, uh, can really uh, adapt to the personality uh, of your client? through choices uh, of several material, colors, and sizes? Well, I think that art plays a role that other pieces within a space cannot achieve, meaning that art is always that mutable aspect that changes the energy of the space. So for instance, you know, furniture can be art. Art is in everything, right? And design is in everything. But sometimes you see a space and there's that one piece that changes the conversation and it can be very polarizing. It could um, evoke emotion where people, they don't really can put a name to it a lot of times, but they know that it gives them a feeling. And also a lot of times art is an extension of your own personal being, meaning that um, we choose something, we don't understand why we like it. When I pick a chair, it has to have a functionality and I have to be able to sit in it, it has to fit sizes, it has to fit under a table, there's a lot of requirements. Art is very subjective. And so really when they say it's in the eye of the beholder, beauty, they really mean that when I look at something, I want to feel something. And that is the essence of, of being and creation, is that we want to be here to feel something. And it's really amazing and beautiful when you can look at an object, a color, or something in your life that somebody else may walk by billions of people all the time and may not pick up on, but for you, that object is life changing. It has changed the energy of your space and you are forever different. So to me, that's what art is and that's why it's, it's very important. People don't realize, and maybe they do realize at a young age and sometimes we forget and then are getting reminded of it. I, I love the fact that, that you are really emphasizing this connection uh, because indeed it, it's again what we want uh, to create, uh, this kind of uh, connections uh, really uh, between uh, you and what surrounds you. And uh, so um, they, uh, what also has impressed me in uh, the, uh, the way that Lucia and Monica presented their collection was uh, the fact that uh, all uh, their uh, creation, their projects uh, have the flexibility to choose uh, a lot of different colors. And for those who know us, uh, we love colors. <laughs> we are dedicated to colors. And uh, because we've always believed that colors uh, are in ourselves as well. And uh, for color, I don't, just don't say the blue or orange or green. But for color for me, uh, maybe also you mentioned that, that uh, in uh, interior design you have a language as well and for me the color is a language like for example if you imagine a black wall in a white room uh, and for me that is color it's something that really is a sensational like a minimalist um, space uh, with neutral colors with suddenly uh, an orange um, pop of color, an orange ottoman, an orange work of art, 
uh, I think that instantly, if you try to imagine that, you have a feeling. So for me, that's color. It's not uh, to have a rainbow, but uh, it's that is uh, the meaning of color. A choice that uh, brings a language, a choice that puts out uh, your soul. And uh, what I loved uh, in uh, the selection that uh, Lucia and Monica were presenting is that the fact that you really can choose from uh, all these colors, which is fabulous, it's fantastic, and they would do it for you. So not just so the material, but uh, also the um, really the possibility of realizing art with something different and not just in your interior but also in the exterior mm -hmm. and i think that if you are, if you can imagine a work of art a sculpture in your garden in uh, uh, whatever color you wish it's uh, you're bringing something out that is different mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> for the compilation we are starting, Fabian, we have designed, as, uh, I want to tell you that we have designed two specific sculptures for uh, outdoor. And uh, these sculptures are um, made of aluminum. And uh, maybe we can see them. Can you show the two sculptures that they have designed for us? Uh, for the, uh, for the, the for domain the triangular. And uh, the and, uh, and, and the, these are made of aluminium, and so aluminium, as I said before, can be varnished really in all those colors. And so we want that customers, our clients, Fabian clients, can put their signature on the on that artwork. And, and, so and this is what we want. You also you participate to the <laughs> feeling to yes to put your your yeah. mark. And, uh, and uh, also you uh, can uh, give any kind of patina to bronze. Also so bronze. not just aluminium or resin, but also bronze. Absolutely. Now we you see the blue and the gold bronze. Uh, but uh, not only with aluminium, also with bronze, we can reach different values. But, uh, but uh, why did you make that choice? <laughs> why did you make the choice of being able to Because we think that colors are our first uh, language. I mean, when we were a child, maybe we couldn't talk, but we could play with colors and for, to express our feelings. And so now we are not a child anymore, but uh, this could be a way to, to, to enter in connection with the piece of art that I select. So, because it's our service, we, we love to be, um, Remember for the documentation. And uh, I love uh, how many times the word connection comes <laughs> out uh, of uh, this uh, nice uh, sharing. Mm -hmm. And so, Blanche, for you, what is the importance of colors in interior design? And how um, do you use it personally? And for what purpose? Color like art is to me like invoking emotion. So um, there are no words sometimes when I'm trying to, uh, I would say like when I'm inspired and I'm thinking about a project, I can't always see the design but I can see the color first. And it washes over me in my imagination and I immediately know the expression that I want the space to have and feel. And so I'm very, I use it um, to me like a tool, and meaning like I, I focus people's attention and their emotion with it. So in a space at the very purest form, whether a client has money or not, they can afford color. And so I'm always able to drive the focal point of a space where I put the color in all aspects. And it's really interesting, I was saying to my team earlier that I'm, probably a minimalist, but I'm also a maximalist in a lot of ways. And I, I mutate between different styles that I fall in love with. I fall in love every day with something different. I'm inspired every day. 
but I can tell where I am in my life with the colors that I choose to, I'm gravitating towards. And so for instance, there was a time in my life that I really wanted white walls. I wanted white space because I needed that palette cleanser. When I came home from the different lives and, and, and places that I was in, I was traveling around the world. I used to do a lot of different shows. And when I came home, I just needed space. I needed space to be me and to be able to create an environment that I can be me in. And it was very hard for a lot of things around me. So I needed that. Now I'm in a very different, um, I would say, a resurgence, awakening, a renaissance in where I'm imagining my life and my career. So color to me comes to me now saturated, washes. Um, right now I'm in an eggplant phase. And to me, that is um, very grounding everything that I'm doing. I think that we have some images also about uh, uh, colorful uh, uh, interiors by Blanche, yes. also for hospitality. Yes. So uh, Blanche really knows how to use color, even in uh, public spaces, which is, uh, for me, that was also one of the reasons I wanted you to be on this panel, because uh, in a way, you dare to challenge the public to colors. Yes. And I think it is, <laughs> no, it's very important. Yes. It, it is. To, you know, we went to go see, a, a, you know, there's a lot of different events today. And one of them um, was Jamie Drake was speaking. And he's um, in America, to me, brought color very much so to the forte in a time when people weren't doing that type of color. Color is usually like in, in minutes, in space here and there but he does washes of color, and it always impacted me um, in my career. And I was like, look how bold that is, you know, to just step into yourself and just release all um, attachments to what color should be and just kind of go for it, you know? And that's just amazing. Yes, but uh, some of your spaces, even for hospitality, are really truly amazing. Thank you. Because of that use of color. And, um, I think uh, it's uh, uh, a great uh, way to resonate uh, and also to challenge, in a way, people to new views uh, and uh, to uh, maybe also um, not, uh, even for those who do not pay attention, something seep in their mind through that kind of program. Subconsciously. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you cannot respond to that kind of stimulation that you give, yeah. Blanche. <laughs> and again, that's why I loved the fact that the creation of uh, Monica, uh, for the work of uh, FPR, but also from a sumo, but also the sumo fighter, Monica realizing any kind of colors and sizes for exteriors as well. I thought that that possibility of using colors in sculpture also outside was something that was challenging, innovating, and stimulating. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Do you, any one of you, have some questions for uh, any of us? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here, right from Italy. Yeah. So that's an honor. Wow, right from Italy. So if you want to stay with us, so we'll have some nibbles, prosecco, and we're waiting for our jazz uh, uh, players. We'll have uh, jazz live music uh, in a few minutes. Okay. So, but no, thank you so much. And um, we hope to see you again. Thank you.